Welcome back. Well, the thing most people want in their home is more space. Our next guest is giving you that, not by cleaning out your closets, but by starting with the design. We're joined now by Tom Hignite, the founder of Miracle Homes. Welcome back to the show, Tom. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be back. Yeah. There's two things going on right now. We've got the home parades as well as the Miracle Home um, tours that are going on. Why are they different and, and what's, what's happening with both? Well, these are kind of the two big iconic events of yes. the summer for home. Home shows. The Miracle Tour of Homes has been around just for about 20 years now. Uh, actually, Miracle Tour a little shorter than that. And the parade has been around for 60 years. Mm -hmm. So that's put on by the Metropolitan Builders Association. This is the first year they're both being done at the same time. Now, we have four locations. They have two locations. But one of the main locations of the parade and of the tour is in Germantown, about three miles apart. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll show our website later where yes. the folks can find out about, about where that's located. Mm -hmm. But um, what I wanted to do was start with a couple of ideas that you'll only see at the home tour. Yeah. The Miracle Tour. And now the Miracle Tour is showing a lot of new things this year. We try okay. to create new home inventions. That's the thing that separates us from most other builders is our design. Now what you look at is a typical home. I'm going to draw a window here, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. You don't have to be too artistic to draw a window. We'll put some <laughs> grids in the top and then the bottom. All right, there's a window. Yep. Well, the human eye was never built with an eyeball over an eyeball. They were built with them side by side. Right. So the idea of putting a window up and down is a little estranged to yeah. the that window. So if you took that window and turned it on its side like that, it would actually be more comfortable for viewing. Kind of like a picture window right. as we think about. Now we're going to show you some new ideas with windows in okay. homes that are going to make a home feel larger because light always makes a room feel bigger. So mm -hmm. let's go to a photograph here if we can. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you're seeing here is a Beautiful. traditional house. Now this is one of them in Germantown. It's mm -hmm. not quite at that point yet with all the landscaping, but you can see how the windows are going up and down. Let's go to the next photograph. You'll see the interior of this home in an artist rendering. And again, you see the windows going mostly up and down. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to switch over and show you what we can do if we place the windows sideways. Okay. There is an outside view of a straight up and down window. Yep. Let's give you the next photograph. It's going to show you the same window. That's how you're viewing from the inside of the home. Yeah, it's right? very narrow. Okay. Right. Now, let's turn that on its side. Let's go to the next photograph and show you this is a home that has the windows placed sideways. You can kind oh, of yeah. see how they're stacked over each other. Let's go to the uh, next shot of that. We're going to show you a close-up of an exterior of that. Mm -hmm. Here's how the windows are placed sideways to each other. Now let's look at what that looks like from the inside of the home. You'll notice something interesting on wow. here. The window's brought to the floor on this, yeah. and you get to view more side-to-side -side view. Mm -hmm. Go to the next photograph, and uh, we've stacked these three over each other, and if we go one more, we'll see the interior of that. Oh, how so much. Looks. It's like a whole wall of, of windows. Uh, well, speaking of wall of windows, I think our next photograph will show you that. Oh, my gosh. Right. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we've taken the great room. We've put the, uh, this is a branch. We call this the reinvented branch because we've reexamined everything. Wow. In it. There you're seeing it in a corner, how that works with stacked windows. You can go all the way to the floor and all the way side to side. and go to the next photograph there. And um, cool. That really does look different. That makes a difference. Of the room. So, um, as we're going through this, I want to show you another thing we can do with windows. If mm -hmm. you can pull back to the drawing board here, as it were. Yeah. And um, another thing you can do with windows, a lot of times, I'm going to draw a room here very quickly. Okay. Okay. Here's a room here, and just for a sense of scale, here's a person, okay? Okay. All right. That's me. There That's you are. Tiff you've I got was a dress on. I was just going to say, I was Tiffany. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, if, if this is a bathroom, I'm going to say we have our vanity here with two sink bowls in it. Okay. Okay. And we've got a... Uh, We've got an interior room over here. Now this interior room has the has the toilet in it. All right, we're going to mm -hmm. draw the toilet over over here. Okay. And this interior room, if I draw the walls, would block out this. It would block out this. Since a home cannot have all exterior walls, one of the things we've been playing around a lot with is bringing natural light into rooms that don't have natural light. Mm -hmm. And the way we do that with putting a long skinny window. That is obscured glass, so you can't see through it. Yeah. And we put a window on this wall out here that does bring the light in. It then oh. passes through there. So let's take a look at some examples hmm. of interior windows. And okay. That should be on the next, um, on the next uh, uh, picture here. If you can show the photo. Yep. It's going to take it's one second. They're just pulling it up it's right now. I'm tricking people. This is a such bit. a great idea, though. I mean, mm. it, does it block the space at well, there all? There you are, right oh, there. Oh, I see. Now that those two windows you see on the left, you mm -hmm. see the two photos. 
Those are actually being used for interior windows that are acting as lights. We have okay. backlights behind there. So when you flick on the switch, instead of having a ceiling light, you would have a wall light that's made out of windows, and those windows match the windows that are on the front of the house. There is a, a window that is going into a walk-in closet, that oh, large window yeah. there. It's about the size of a half a patio door, and that's letting the light in. There's the window that I was just talking about. That's what about. you were drawing. There's I love that. that. Long, you can see the vanity over to the left a little bit. That's that that's dark beautiful. Browser. So then if people look in, you're mm -hmm. not seeing losing there's, any privacy. There's the reverse side of that same thing. You're seeing it in the hallway there, and that's how you're letting in. You're right. You're not going to lose privacy because it does have the obscure. There's a window over a doorway. Now, that's a doorway oh, yeah. going into the master bedroom. And if you look over that doorway up on the top left, that's a window that is a transom window. Beautiful. There's a window that is at the top of a room, a bedroom, that's letting the daylight spill through into the inner hallway, which would not have natural light otherwise. So oh, this, yeah. I think, is uh, uh, do we have another photograph on there? Mm -hmm. There we go. This is a... This is a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired house. Now you're going to see this house. Frank Lloyd Wright figured out the, the width thing a long time ago on windows, horizontal. These are tilt out windows or awning windows. Very unusual to see those. Go to the next shot, you'll see the interior, how that fills oh, beautiful. the room. You put your furnishings underneath that bank of windows, and these windows are brought to the corner, so it makes an 11 by 12 bedroom feel much larger. Huge. Well, I think that's what's so amazing about all this, is that you're, you're using an existing space, but you're creating more light, which uh, kind of tricks you at some times, if it's just the space mm -hmm. that you have, to feeling like it's much bigger and getting more of that natural light in, which makes us all a little happier. And this could be done yeah. in a remodel, and it could be done, of course, in a new home. So mm -hmm. somebody were to be remodeling a home and say, you know, I have this room that has no light in it. Look for a wall that has light coming through it that might be nearby and pass the light through that room into the unwindowed or dis-windowed room, uh, the dark room, and it makes an amazing amount of difference. And we're doing this sort of thing throughout the tour. Yeah. We have un unique things not only in windows but in colors, in shapes, in the way we're doing uh, concrete, uh, all different sorts of fun, unique items. So uh, come on out and take a peek. Yeah, and it's going on now through September 8th. So here's the information. It's weekends from 12 to 5, the Miracle Tour of Homes going on again now through September 8th. Weekends from 12 to 5, there are eight homes, four locations, Mount Pleasant, Oconomowoc, Hartford, and Germantown. And Hartford and Germantown are also open weeknights from 5 to 8 as well. So those locations, all there on your screen. Here's how you can find out more about all the locations, times, and how to go out and get your tickets. It's miracle-homes.com. It's 262-628-9091. Great innovations you need to see for yourself at all of those eight homes in four locations. Thanks for being Thanks, here, Tom. Thank you, Always a pleasure. Pleasure. We'll Thank see you. you again soon. Love yes. it.